Archdiocese of Washington, D.C. is receiving a special award from the North American College Seminary in Rome. Courtney Morez, Rome correspondent for Catholic News Agency, had the opportunity to interview Cardinal Gregory before the event. What would you like to see more of from, from President Biden that would make him less of a cafeteria Catholic? What menu items is he missing? Well, uh, first of all, uh, I respect the president, as I said publicly. I believe that he is, he, he is a sincere man of faith. I really do believe that. I would just ask uh, th that he would somehow find a way to better allow his personal uh, uh, religious convictions to, to engage in the public uh, form. But you know, and I know, that uh, when you're in the public life, you find that hook that you can use to your advantage. Sometimes finding the hook means that you find yourself in conflict with uh, a church teaching. Um, but that would be my hope. Can you share with us a little bit about your experience as a black Catholic leader in America? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm humbled uh, to, to even hear that question because I know that the honor that was given to me by Pope Francis uh, rested solidly on the faith of African-American Catholics. Even in times when uh, we weren't respected or understood or honored. Uh, we remain faithful. And uh, the fact that I can uh, enjoy the office knowing that it rests on the quality of goodness, faith, uh, and charity of the African-American community humbles me deeply, as you can hear in my voice. Yes, yes. And I also want to ask you about the, the National Eucharistic Congress that's coming up. What does this mean for uh, the life of the church in, in America, especially at a time when um, so many Americans haven't returned to mass after the pandemic? Well, I, I think the, uh, the, the, the emphasis on Eucharistic revival and, and the attention that is being given to uh, reinvigorating or initiating for some who are younger, uh, an awareness of the importance of Christ's Eucharistic presence in the Black, Blessed Sacrament. Uh, I, I hope the end result is that uh, we, we draw closer together as a family of faith around the altar that Christ sets for us and then remains present as a gift from that altar the emphasis on the real presence also should generate uh, the next question. If Christ is really present and I receive him in the Eucharist, what does that demand of me? The Eucharist and his Eucharistic presence is a gift of in unquestionable importance, but it's also a challenge that those of us who dine with him must live like him and have the same values that he expressed in the Gospels as, as his legacy of faith and love. And that's a beautiful message to end on. Thank you so much, Your Eminence. You're welcome. Thank you.